For sure it happened to you that the music for your video doesn't match the length of your video and there is no other way than cut the song and make our best not to make it noticeable. Well, in this video, we will shorten or extend the duration of a song to make it fit perfect the length of our video using Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. Intro. Okay, we have a sequence here that is called drone. Of course, we have some drone footages. I pulled them already here to the timeline. I trimmed them, but of course it's not final because after we put the music, we're going to trim them with the beats. First thing to do is to pull the song that I found online. It's very nice. It's a piano and it's cinematic and everything. And the song, as you can see, is like double of the video. The video has like 52 seconds or something, yeah, 52, 53 seconds. And the music is 1.48, so it's one minute and 48 seconds, almost 49 seconds. So what we have to do is to shorten the music, okay? So what we do is the following. We press the music, right click, and we go to edit clip in Adobe Audition. Of course, you have to have Adobe Audition installed. And then we click here, and as you can see, Adobe Audition is creating another track here. This is the track that uh, we're going to work with. Okay, it created the track and now Adobe Audition is going to open. There you go. This is going to be super easy. And it's amazing how Adobe Audition is going to do that. You're going to be impressed. We have here the track, but what we want to do is to create a multi-track. So we go here on the top and we put multi-track. We have to choose the name. So we're going to put um, background uh, music, okay? This is going to be the name of the session we're creating right now. Okay, we got the session done, but we don't have the song here see, uh, yet. What we do is we take the song from here and we pull it all the way here. Let's try to put it at the beginning. There you go. Now it's saying that the audio extracted from Premiere doesn't match the sample rate of the session. But don't worry, you press OK and they're going to match, okay? There you go. Adobe Audition is making it match and it's done. As simple as that. Now we come here on the bottom, you can see properties, okay? And in properties, you have few options as you can see here, but we're going to do Remix here. We're going to enable Remix. Just click enable Remix. And what is happening is the Adobe Audition is trying to understand, it's analyzing the clip, it's understanding everything from the song, like every little beat, every, the rhythm, every little changes that the song has, everything is being analyzed by Adobe Audition now. So then it's going to be very easy for Adobe Audition to help us to do whatever we want with the song. And it's done. It was really fast. Now that Adobe Audition understands the song, it can tell you that the song has 1 minute 48 seconds 0.942. So it means it's almost 49 seconds. But it says target duration. It means here we can change everything. We can make the song bigger. We can make the song shorter. So what we want is 48 seconds. I mean, that's what I want from the song. Okay, 48 seconds. So let's make it smaller. Now that we put 48 seconds here, we click Enter. And there you go, easy, as simple as that. It's incredible how Adobe Audition in such a fast time did already the job. As you can see here, there's like teeth over here and here also, these are the cuts that Adobe Audition did. So in this part, Adobe Audition cut and pulled the other part of the song that is basically very similar, very close and is unnoticeable. I'm gonna let you hear so you'll see it's unnoticeable. Incredible. This is incredible. Now what we have to do is to come to File. We go to Export. Export to Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's choose the name of the file we're going to export. Background music, tracks. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. Here in Location, it's going to say where the file is going to be saved. I'm just going to leave it like that. I know where is it. If you don't, if you don't understand what it says here, please, please browse and look for the, uh, the folder you want to put the export of the file. Now click Export. And it's done. Now we're going to open the file. And there you go. Here it is. It's called track one. We're going to pull it to Premiere. We're going to put it here in our folder. And there you go. Here it is. Now we're going to put it in the timeline. And look at this. It's exactly the size that we want it. 
we can actually erase this track here and we stay with this. This is incredible. There you go. We have exactly the size that we wanted. Now, the only thing we need to do is to just try to match the beats as much as we can. So the music is going to sound very good. And if you, for example, match in one part and you cannot match in the other, just extend it, just match the beats. It was so easy, so simple. And you have now the length of the song with it's, it's unnoticeable. If you like this video, you know what to do. And subscribe, that is free. I'm posting every week. Until next week.